Undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that mark. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sport. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho oh, ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to rump? Well, then, if you're going to be like that, Perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius' decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death! That's right, death outlawed! Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Really? Oh, oh what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Where you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, ah? Huh? Oh, the ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, what was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! No matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here. Surely good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. The mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, you can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive and having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me 
Shea Gorath, Daedric, Prince of Madness, Charmed. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ha! Ah. His confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. But someone still has quite a bit to do. Hmm. You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Now 
something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Pelagius stopped by and mentioned he hated you. Or I mentioned he hated you, and he agreed. Oh, I'm so happy for you. My, what a burden to have carried. But you've done it. You've conquered your own inner demons. Bravo. Um, you, it didn't mean yourself. You meant Pelagius. Well. Same congratulations apply. Just, you know, for what you did for the insane emperor. Conquering paranoia should be a snap after that ordeal, hmm? Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was... Well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabacha to defeat the enemy, while they do the same. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of. And we're that much closer to home. to feel what you have to like. Or something like that. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So... Congratulations! You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while well, I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Ah, oh, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta!
Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Remember the Winking Skeever next time your foot's sore. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade can bear. Cut butter.
Tell me why I should not kill you where you stand. What? Wait. You must be... Yes. You are the mortal who aided Lord Sheogorath. Yes. You survived Pelagius' madness, which makes you especially resilient for a mortal. My name is Sada, of the Orioles. I'm a guardian of the Shimmering Isles, and the favored servant of the Prince of Madness. For centuries, the Isles have been home to the Asylum, a realm that serves as a prison for my lord's enemies. But the Mad God's absence, and the chaos that has resulted in the years since, gave the prisoners the opportunity they needed to start a riot. The guards have been slain, and the exiles threatened to escape and wreak havoc. I have been tasked with restoring stability to the Asylum. One of the Exile prisoners, a battle mage named Thorin, managed to win the loyalty of both of the main prisoner groups. We have always encouraged them to turn on each other instead of their jailers. Short-sighted as they are, they take the bait. Unfortunately, Thorin was clever enough to remind them of their common enemy, us. While Lord Shergorath was away, he and his followers took the guards by surprise, overwhelming our forces. Now, the exiles grow closer to escape by the minute. Look around you. The Shivering Isles have already touched your realm, and the consequences are obvious. Our worlds belong apart. As for the Exiles, I cannot say for certain, though I expect they will lash out at everyone and everything they can. Hundreds of years of imprisonment has not softened their hearts. Most turned against the Mad God during the Grey March, an attack on the Isles that last occurred centuries ago. These deviants betrayed our Lord and were exiled to the Asylum for their treason. The only ones left guarding the asylum are Dylora, the commander of the Maskin, and myself. We cannot be everywhere at once. We require aid if we are to protect the asylum and break Thorin's riot at the same time. If you survived the journey through the route to reach me, you may be worthy of this task. I ask that you travel with me to the asylum, stop Thorin, and restore peace to the Isles, before the exiles manage to reach your realm. You are about to be given a rare honor, mortal. Follow then, into the Isles. I welcome you, mortal, to the Shivering Isles. This is the Asylum, at the far reaches of the Isles, beyond the walls of the Fringe. Here, the Prince of Madness imprisons those who have opposed or defied him. Escape is... was... impossible. Until Thorin rallied the Exiles, that is. Our guards were destroyed. The Asylum fell into chaos. 
When the Mad God left the realm to visit Pelagius, the Isles stretched out their roots to find him, creating a pathway to your solitude. Now he has returned, but the root remains agitated. Something is disrupting it, and I believe Thorin is behind it. Now then, we should speak to Dylora, my colleague. In her wisdom, she has elected to guard the impenetrable walls that separate the asylum from the fringe, rather than the open passage to your realm. Laura has allowed her position to be overrun. The Mad God should not have trusted this task to her. This will make our fight more difficult. I doubt it. They would have left her body for all to see. She is commander of the Dark Seducers. Even as a simpering Mazkin, she would be difficult prey for mortals. No. If she has not willingly abandoned her post, then she has been taken. Thorin will likely have darker purposes for her. Their tracks point towards Stopgap, an abandoned village along the coast. The Exiles use it as an encampment. There is an Exile chief who dwells there. I ask you to slay him and discover what they plan for Dylora. I do not know what they hope to gain from holding her, but I will not allow Thorin's schemes to further weaken our position. I shall keep watch over the doors, the crossroads, and the route. Return successfully, or not at all. In the asylum? Yes. My company was overwhelmed. There are more outside this prison. The Orioles are stretched too thin to send us reinforcements, however. The asylum was not the only area affected by my lord's long absence, merely the hardest hit. Certainly not. Only mortals die when they are slain. The Orioles are not so limited. But it will take time for my slain kin to reform from their creatia. We cannot rely on them now. I am... uncertain. We have seen too few bodies since we entered the Isles, guard or exile. Something about that is unnerving. Watch yourself. I am an Oriole. My people have served Lord Sheogorath for years uncountable, and I am the greatest among them. You mortals live such fleeting lives, and can hold so little of my lord's attention. You dance to his whims for a moment, and then the moment passes. So I ask you this, what is there to respect? So be it.
Prost!